everybody, it's Marla Martinson, and you are watching another episode of Cosmic Conversations. And I'm here with Stephanie Barton. Hey, Stephanie. Hey! I'm good to see you. Yay! It's the angel lady. So you guys, Stephanie has a new book out, and it is so good. I never thought that I would be interested in reading about suicide, but it's actually a book I mean, it's more. It's way more than that. I mean, anyone is going to love this book. And look at how gorgeous it is. It's so beautiful. Because Stephanie's a medium, she tells her stories about speaking with people who've lost friends and loved ones and the messages that she gets through. So tell us a little bit about this book, why you decided to write a, a book like this. Well, I think suicide is such a difficult topic to address and it's very, very uncomfortable not just for those who've lost loved ones to suicide but for their support and and really for society as a whole so I wanted to offer a book that could provide comfort that could give a different perspective but also could just really come from the heart and provide tools for those who've lost loved ones to suicide but even more than that, for anyone who's lost a loved one to a tragic death or to unforeseen circumstances, because there's such a gift that can be received when we embrace grief and learn to connect with spirit and learn to cultivate those relationships, even with those who are on the other side. Exactly. And, you know, I lost my brother. He was only 39. And, uh, it wasn't exactly suicide, but it was through his lifestyle, through alcohol yes. uh, abuse. So it was sort of was, and um, it this was so helpful, and and it just mm -hmm. knowing. And I always feel that he's in a good place now, and and I think there's such a stigma around um, mm -hmm. suicide. But you were saying that uh, in a lot of these stories, that these people they just needed to get out of their physical body and be on that the other side, and that they're not pen penalized for it. No, absolutely not. It in the end it doesn't matter how we get there. Every every soul is met with the same love and the same compassion and the same acceptance on the other side. Be it a physical death through cancer or through a car accident or through a lifestyle or through a, a, a violent act of suicide. Love is there to greet and welcome all of us. And I think it's so important that we learn to not discriminate based upon the cause of death, but learn to celebrate because of the life that we've lived and the journey that we've taken. Because we're brave souls to come here to earth. <laughs> That's for sure. And our, our upbringing or religion or whatever we're taught, it's like, oh, if you commit suicide, you're going to hell. So mm -hmm. it's so looked down upon. But it takes a lot of courage to do that, too, you know, if you're that uncomfortable. Um, to go ahead and, and do it, I think it would be to take, to take a lot of courage. Yes, there's got to be a very powerful force within the person who completes suicide, a strong knowingness or a readiness, mm -hmm. because yes, there's so much stigma and so much guilt and so much, just so much built around that topic that those who do complete suicide, it, it, it could not have been prevented. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that I talk about in the book is a suicide that has been completed is a suicide that could not have been prevented. There's there's a greater force at work in those circumstances every time. Yeah, that's one of the things that I I, I think a lot of people, even myself with my brother, you think, um, I thought maybe I'll hire a private detective to find him because he was estranged from us and I think people have mm -hmm. a lot of guilt thinking what could I have done if I would have said something yes. else or called or intervened. Uh, so you really found that if they're on that trajectory, there's nothing, we shouldn't feel guilty about that we could have stopped it or turned their life around or something, right? Exactly. And I am 100% for working for suicide prevention and bringing love and gentleness to all people and giving those who suffer with mental illness opportunities to heal and therapy. And we have to provide every means possible to help our brothers and sisters on the path. Mm -hmm. But in the circumstance, if a suicide has been completed, we have to understand that 
we've done everything that we can. There's a soul plan that's in place, and that plan has been activated so that we can overcome the guilt Mm -hmm. about death and start celebrating the life of those who may have completed suicide. Right. And then you, I love the stories where some of the people would come to you and then you would immediately connect with Mm -hmm. them. Can can you, is there a story that stands out that you want to share? Well, I think um, one of the really beautiful examples, uh, I have a lady whose sister had completed suicide and she came in to talk with me. And one of the first things that I saw from her sister, well, there are two things. One was this really big pink boa. Uh, a really obnoxious feathery pink boa and the other was these beautiful wind chimes so as it turned out her sister who was on the other side had a very obnoxious pink boa that she used to wear to make everyone in the family laugh Uh but up to the months before her transition she had stopped laughing she was completely lacking in joy so the fact that she came through wearing that pink boa was extremely encouraging to her sister because she knew she'd found her joy again or that she was in that place where she was light. And she hadn't been that here on this side before she'd made her transition. And then they had hung wind chimes out for her the very morning Uh of the session. So she was able to validate that her spirit was there and saw the wind chimes, which was a really neat, very neat validation for the family. Yeah, that yeah. What I mean, you couldn't have made up the pink boa. <laughs> I mean, that's oh, the feathery really, pink boa was just great. Was just great. What that is so yeah. awesome. And it's oh, go ahead. Oh well, it, just, it felt so good for her sister to know that she had found happiness, that she was back in that place where she was at ease. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one of the greatest gifts in communicating with our loved ones on the other side is knowing that they are happy. Right. And that's so extremely important in the circumstance of suicide because no one completes suicide when they're on cloud nine. There's right. always that sadness. So to know that they're okay and that they're happy is so healing for the family who've been left behind. And, and your wording is interesting, complete suicide, not commit suicide. And why, yes. yeah, why do you use that term? I like that better. It, well, when you commit a crime or you commit an act of treason, the word commit seems like it's a violation mm-hmm. or that it's something negative or something that's bad. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that that supports the families who've been left behind when you talk about a loved one who's committed suicide. It sounds like they did a crime. Right. And that's how we had looked at it, as many people look at it. Yes. Yes. And I think that we need to move away from that line of thinking when it comes to suicide and, and begin to talk about it from a more tolerant and loving perspective instead of the fear based, punitive, sin perspective it's time to shift that exactly you guys stephanie gave me and my mom a reading a few months ago and my brother came through and i was at my mom's house and it was so amazing because she me and my mom had wanted to get our hair done we had and then um we both needed coloring so bad but the cup the hairdresser couldn't come over because she was sick and so it was a big to do and then my mom had, and stephanie says oh were you guys gonna get your hair done and then she said, oh, your brother's saying your mom just got her bathroom painted. And that was a big thing, too, because she'd spent like 1500 on getting her bathroom painted. And it was like, I'm like, did you really have to spend that? And then he's like, um, I see frogs. And my mom has a huge collection of frogs. And there's frogs all over her house. So it was so great just to get those messages of confirmation that he's, you know, because he had such a sad, uh, painful um, passing that, you know, that he's happy mm-hmm. over there and. Yeah. Yes. I'm oh, I think that's the best thing. I know. Yes, to know our loved ones are happy. Yeah. That is just such a, a wonderful freedom and such a gift to receive to know that they're happy. Because that's, that's what we want for them on the other side. Right. And then the one I keep thinking about when you said, because my, cause my grandmother came through, and then my grand, you said, oh, your grandfather's there, but uh, he doesn't say anything. He's not saying anything. He's just sitting there. And he never spoke practically my whole life. I heard him speak very few words. He was one of those people who just really didn't talk. Uh, just was, we don't know why. That was just his personality. And he wouldn't have any conversations. You just say hi, bye. That was it, you know. And uh, mm-hmm. then he, he was, it was so funny because you'd never see, you go, you're like, this is really weird. This guy's not saying anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> he won't talk. He's not talking over on the other side either. <laughs> Personalities don't change a whole lot. <laughs> right. So, so people can, um, you know, I, I encourage anybody who's lost somebody, contact Stephanie. Uh, she can connect with them, and it just makes you feel so much better and connect with your angels. And you do readings on Skype and phone and in person, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I do. And I am just here to serve and uh, plead. I want everyone to know you're never alone. And death is not an ending. No matter what the circumstance, death is not an ending um, because life continues. It just continues on. And, 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 and we, we have our angels. To those we have our side. angels to, to stand by our side, too. She connects with angels, which I love. <laughs> What's yes. one of the best it's things? It's all good. In, in before we close, what's one tip you can give people to try to maybe connect with somebody that's uh, crossed um, or maybe even if they don't know they've connected, some gift that they could give to the other the person on the other side, that like a little connection? Um, one of the neatest connections is through music. So I think um, singing, to, uh -huh. singing a song that maybe your loved one uh, really loved or appreciated and then asking them to sing or to send you a song in return okay. is a really fun way to communicate and to connect with the other side and it's miraculous how effectively it works. So, so like then when you're in the car and the radio's on that song from them will come through probably? Yes, absolutely. Or you'll walk into the grocery store and oh. somebody will be humming the song. Or you hear it on Muzak. That is such a powerful way that spirit can communicate is through music. Do you tell, the, do you, love, do you tell them which song you want them to send you? Or how do you know it's the song from them? You know. Okay. You just know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'll know. Well, I remember my dad, because I'm always playing music in my car and singing, and I have a terrible voice, so it's like, that's the place I can sing, right? And then when you were, we did a reading once, and my dad came through, he's like, your dad says, keep playing your music. So that mm -hmm. was, yeah. So you can sing. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, our loved ones on the other side love to hear us sing because we sing when we're happy. We yes. sing from that place of joy. It's a very emotional experience. Right. So music is a great way to connect. Or if we just have a breakup, we're singing those those painful heart, you know, oh, yeah. songs. You know, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hello from <laughs> the other side. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Stephanie, thanks for stopping by. And you guys, I'll put all the links yes. down below where you can get Stephanie's beautiful book. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Marla.